I don't know if you realize this, but you just started a new uh, a new trend. I mean, there's 7,500 people watching this right now, and now everybody wants glow in the dark weed. <laughs> I would love to do a license deal with Snoop Dogg and Mike Tyson, have them compete against oh each other. God. Who can sell the most glow in the dark pot? I think this is how we get the real world adoption that That's Cardano it. desperately needs. Screw world mobile token. <laughs> Screw cornucopia. She got glow in the dark weed. Um, that's, that's, that'd be, that'd be hilarious. Now, this is the last question I'll ask about midnight because I get this question constantly and I'm doubting you're going to be able to even answer it. Everybody wants to know, you know, obviously we see, you know, blockchains like Solana and, and we, we see how they've been kind of building their, their volume, building a lot of stuff up between airdrops and, and meme tokens, right? And everybody is looking for that, like a big airdrop. And apparently, since the announcement of midnight, everybody is saying when or if is there going to be an airdrop of of midnight? When we could look at and expect that, and how might that be brought to the public? Yeah, I'm going to punt on that one. We have some plans. We have some ideas. We're thinking about it, um, and I think there's going to be something that people are very happy about. And my hope is it can be done in a way to unify the whole cryptocurrency space to care about Midnight. So we bring a lot of people together and it'll really get people to care about Cardano in ways they didn't before. And I don't like the idea of an airdrop where you just get something for free. I like the idea of an airdrop where you get it as compensation for participation in something to launch the network. Um, so I think there's a way to do this and make your airdroppers miners. Um, and we're, we're thinking about it and we have a lot of protocols and it's more of a question of how to put it into an ecosystem that sustains itself and actually gets the adoption that we need. Now, also we're custodians of this idea uh, of, of how to do this in a dual token model for all partner chains, because I want this to be a model that gets reused kind of like the ISPO or other things for distribution again and again by all the partner chains. So when somebody builds a partner chain, it's not just a technology, it's a distribution model as well for a fair distribution across the cryptocurrency space to bring a lot of people in. So that's why it's a little bit more complicated because it was just midnight. We can always just pick something and do something. But if it's, it's beyond that and you're really thinking like, how would this be used for 10, 15, 20 projects to utilize it and bring it across the board? Uh, that's very important. Another side of the tokenomics is also support for SPOs. People talk, ah, if I'm an SPO and I run a pool, I'd, I'd like to be paid to do that. It's a business. The problem is the inflation rate keeps going down. So either the price of ADA has to go up or the transaction volume has to go up in order for you to make the same amount of money. Okay. Well, what if you have partner chains, you're now compensated in multiple tokens to do work as opposed to just one. So your profitability rapidly increases for each partner chain as an SPO. So my goal is to try to get a lot of partner chains into the ecosystem, because what does that mean? You get more SPOs, which means you get more decentralization inside the system and you get higher quality SPOs because of competition. So you get more infrastructure uh, like Mithril and Hydra channels and these types of things. So there's an internal consistency there. So this model opens up that reality. And if it's done right, will really decentralize Cardano and make it much more appealing to, to be an SPO. So it's a hard question. And uh, there's a lot of really good people thinking deeply about it, working on it. And uh, I think we'll, we'll crack it um, and uh, we'll be able to announce it soon. And I think a lot of people will be very excited uh, about what it brings to the uh, ecosystem, especially for cross-chain transactions.